Moab, Utah is one of my favorite places in the entire world and to get here I take one of the most beautiful roads in the entire world. It's right there. It kisses the Colorado River and I have a way of sharing that with you. It's called Driveline. I've got it right here on my phone. So what I would suggest you guys do is download the app and check out the TFL car profile and you can actually see and then drive the road that I'll be driving every time I come to Moab just by getting Driveline from your app store. Alright, there's the app. I'm going to drop a pin right now. Start. And there we go. Now we're going to drive the road and when this is all said and done, if you go to TFL Car and Drive Line, you'll be able to see this exact road and then drive it as well. All right, let's go do this, Tommy. You ready? Yep. All right, let's fire up this Hummer. Behind me is Baby Lion's Back, and of course that is our long-term Hummer, and we bought that because we wanted to prove that the Hummer is not just for cruising down Hollywood Boulevard, but it can tackle places like, well, the Lion Back. So here we are in Moab, and let's take it off-road. Baby Lion's Back isn't all that hard. It's just very steep. And you'd think that slick rock would be slick, but it's not, especially when it's dry. But the reason I drove the Hummer up here is because this shows one of the Hummer's greatest strengths, and that's the approach and departure angle. Because while coming up here is easy, going down can be tricky because it goes from very steep to very flat. And let's see if this truck hits at the front or at the back. I'm betting it won't. So here's a bottle of iced tea. I'm at the top right now, and you can tell that's, uh, you know, flat. The line across the top goes pretty much like the horizon. But let's see what happens when I'm on the steepest part of this descent. I'm holding this even right now. <laughs> With the roof. whatsoever. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right Tommy, so that was uh, my part of the demonstration. I think it's your turn to show them how this thing does. Um, I say we head over to Pins and Things. Yeah, let's do that. What would you call it? Like a five? Mm, maybe like a four. Yeah, it's not super hard. It's no Escalator, it's no Hell's Revenge. But then again, we have to drive this truck all the way home. Yes, we do. And we have a buyer lined up for it too, so we don't want to break it. Yeah, we do have a buyer. Are we going to spill the beans on that? Uh, maybe we will at the end of the video. Are going to tell them who's buying it? I think we will at the end of the video. And you guys are going to be surprised, I promise. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'll hop out and film. You get behind the steering wheel, hand over. Okay, your turn. I gotta admit, that is a badass looking rig. First off, we're still looking at a proper body on frame rig here. We have a lot of ground clearance and we have frame rails tucked way up into the body, which is exactly what you want. I think I might lock my rear diff here. Uh, that's all it took. Now, Hey, stop filming lizards! Um, four low here, diff is locked. Height control, it's adjusting the rear suspension uh, to stay level. All is working well. Maybe I'll turn my traction control two on. There you go. Oh, well, you're almost there, keep going. Got it, nice. 
That's when a rear dip comes in really handy, huh? Rear dip lock, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Up and over. How we doing? You're about to go over the top of it. Oh, no, you're fine. Did it, uh, did it turn that boulder into dust? Because it sure felt like it. <laughs> You can see all these people have hit right here. You can see how people have hit. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, especially if you take the camera off. Yeah, especially. Go for it. So here's where people hit coming up, and then they hit the tail on the way up. So nothing on the front. Let's see what happens on the butt. Keep going. Not even close, Tommy. You got another 12 inches. <laughs> Tommy, this thing has crazy mad approach and departure angles. You are at least 12 inches from even coming close to it. That's pretty good. So dude, here's my takeaway. Approach to departure angles, incredible. Yep. Breakover angle, incredible. Yep. Power. There. There, if not more than adequate. Yeah. Uh, locking rear diff. Works. Works and works <laughs> well. Tires, really bite. And the ride is actually super soft. Um, part of that's because I think it's a little bit older and worn out, but. The suspension, you mean it's a little softer? Yeah. And we haven't really aired down because, let's face it, you really don't need to air down that much for fins and things. It's not like we're doing Hell's Revenge. Nope. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, I also like the fact that locking and unlocking the diff like you just did there is so easy. Just push the button. Oh, and it works well too. Yeah, not a lot of drama. Uh, now, if you recall on that obstacle we just went up there, we actually hit on both the Tacoma and the Raptor on the departure angle. <laughs> it's really steep. I'm walking down right now. Uh, you can't really see. It's hard to show on camera, but this is uh, super duper steep. Barely walkable. All right, here he comes. really feel the mass when you're coming down hills like that. Um, like the one thing I would do is probably upgrade the brakes. Yeah. The, I'm going to suggest that to the new buyer. Yeah, maybe suggest that to the new buyer. We'll suggest that to him. You got to take those 24s and 22s off your H2s, put on some 18s, and then set them up to reins and bring them out here. This is basically stock. And Grant, we're not on a crazy trail. Yeah. And I'm sure if we were really doing something hard, our weight would start to become a disadvantage. Hey, hey, what are you saying? Hey, hey! Are you saying I'm fat? No, I'm not saying you're fat. I'm saying the <laughs> truck's a little, a little grotesque. Um, but on this stuff, it's comfortable. It's quiet. Uh, we're getting probably three miles per gallon. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> At least four. At least. But four. it sounds badass. It sounds badass. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of happy that we came out here because I think that GM actually put a lot more thought into this vehicle's off-road ability than people ever used. Or gave it credit for. Or gave it credit for. I'm taking you right over the, right over the big edge here. Uh, this is a quite the angle. No hill descent control. This is old school. All right, you got like four feet, five feet. Keep going. Okay, now you can two feet. Slow, slow, slow. There you go. Well, let's see if you hit going through. You're committed now. I'm gonna say we're gonna hit on the uh, mud flap. You're about to go down now. Slow, 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 slow. Slow. Oh, there goes Clampy. Oh, keep going. Ouch. Well, we broke the camera and we hit the mud flap and the air suspension is pumping this back up right now. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. But, uh, nothing on the truck hit, Tommy. So, uh, Clampy got hit. Yeah. Uh, uh, my brakes were fully on. They're, they're they're a little old. They're a little old. I think yeah, they need probably a little looking at. But uh, nothing happened with the truck. I mean, what you hit was the camera and the mud flap plate. Yeah, I mean it's all protected down there. Yeah, that's all. Let me show you the skid plate. Look at the skid plate this thing has. So coming down, you hit, you hit this right there. You hit that skid plate somewhere underneath. Uh, maybe you can see it. But that's about it. You you, you may not. Uh, Tiptoe over the earth, 
but you're certainly gonna pound it into submission. Now you Ram guys are gonna hate me for saying this, but it's actually a little bit like a power wagon off-road. It's got that same kind of sense of invincibility. Of course, we don't have solid axles in the front or a front locker or a sway bar disconnect, but for an independent front suspension rig that is probably best known um, for shuttling people like P. Diddy yeah. to the recording studio, Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's a hell of a truck. That's where the um, the weight comes into play. Yeah. It's just it's a lot of weight to drag up these hills. <laughs> you broke a tree, Tommy. Yeah, broke a tree. You broke a bit of a branch. It's the Hummer way. It's the Hummer way. I told you. This is about crushing the earth. The other good, the other good thing is we uh, did change out those tie rod lens, so uh, it's much more robust now. I'm at Devon's Car Care, and the Hummer is getting a new steering system, new tie rod ends and Pitman and idler arm support to make the front end more heavy duty and more capable. Here's an old tie rod assembly, here's a new one. And the size difference is so evident. This is like probably about twice as large. Look at that front, it just goes straight up and same thing with the back. Just straight up, right where the wheels are is where you hit. Uh, and so as soon as it gets down this bit, which is gonna be cake, it is heavy though, it really is heavy. We're gonna see just how good it does. Now, I think if you watch, it might hit. You might hit on the uh, mud flat, but they just bend. It's all good. Yeah, you're fine, you're good. No scraping, didn't hear anything. All right, Tommy, you ready? Yep. All right, here's the one where we always hit. Stay to your left. Let's see, the, let's see if this could be the first vehicle we've taken down that doesn't scrape. You wanna go, you wanna go more right. There you go. All right, just keep going straight. We'll see if it hits. <laughs> All right, here goes the front. Hold up, hold up. You're so close to hitting. All right, keep going. I don't think you're gonna hit. Hit the mud flap. That's all. You might hit the tire. Keep going. You're touching the tire. You're kissing the tire. Oh! Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> you kissed the tire, Tommy. That was awesome, though. You kissed the tire. It's the only thing you hit. You know, usually when we're down there, we're dragging hitches and stuff. Look how high that is. It's crazy. That's where you want an exhaust to be. There's no way you're ever going to hit that exhaust. And then, you know, there's... Whoa! He scared me! Alright, well that was unplanned. There's even a hitch. You're not going to hit that. The only thing we hit was right down here. Tommy, I kind of feel like we've gone full circle. I was looking at some of the original reviews of the H2, and guess where the press trip was? Right here in Moab. Heck yeah, right here in Moab. And I gotta tell you, we kept these guys in suspense long enough, so shall we tell them who bought it? Yep, we will. Our very own Andre Smirnov bought this truck. That's right, Andre bought it. I'm so happy that the Hummer is staying in the TFL family because, you know, it's never let us down, and it's proved to be a much more capable off-roader than I think most people give it credit for. Oh yeah, it's been awesome. It really was great today. As always, this is Roman and behind the camera, Tommy saying thanks for watching. Remember, check out tfltruck.com for more news views and of course guys, real world.
Moab off-roading reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao. And don't forget, if you want to follow us and others on some amazing driving roads all throughout the country, just download Driveline from your app store.